on everyone so I've been kind of slacking on leading up to official practice on doing some vlogging style stuff but kind of thought I'd save everything for actually official practice kind of my outlook on going about these tournaments is I really like to get a lay of the land kind of figure out where I actually want to spend my time for official practice time so now I've kind of narrowed down some areas of the lake that I want to focus my time in but it's pretty fun because I've got my buddy Clayton Weber from La Crosse, Wisconsin. He came down to fish as a co-angler. He's staying at my campsite fishing with me and Josh. We're kind of bumming food out of Josh and Bree's camper and stuff like that. But uh, we're out here practicing. It's day one of official practice. We're going to try to put our heads down, see if we can dial a few things in. But we got two and a half days to really figure it out before the tournament time. So we'll try to bring you along with everything. We'll show you some stuff back at camp how we kind of go about just our day-to-day -day fishing, official practice for the Bassmaster Open. So putting in a lot of idle time, sitting behind the screens, looking for offshore grass right now. That's kind of a comfort zone that I like. Poor Clayton's gotta sit here while I do all that, but it's time to get a good nap in when that's the, when that's the deal. But um, I don't know, we're looking around, kind of narrowed it down to a few lakes that I want to focus time on. We're on the Harris Chain. Uh, for the first Bassmaster Open of the year, so it's exciting. I'm looking forward to getting after it, but I really like getting a lay of the land of everything before um, really get fishing, you know, marking a ton of things. I'm marking a ton of waypoints. Nothing that I've really even caught that many fish on, but it's just more so um, figuring out just kind of how everything shakes out and lays out. Um, so we're gonna be putting in some time in behind these graphs and Hopefully we can get a couple fish catches, probably staying low key because there's some other boats around and stuff like that, but all leading up to the to make it count on tournament day. Midday update of day one of official practice. It's hot, the fishing's not, and I have a spinning pole out in Florida. We're keeping going. Can't give up, gotta keep switching up. We are wrapping up day one of official practice, and she wasn't very nice to us today. So, <laughs> at the beginning when I said I narrowed it down to some lakes that I want to spend more time on, I'm starting to really second guess that. So it's a mental game, got to stay strong, stay open-minded. And we are right by a highway, so it's super loud. But we're gonna keep them honest tomorrow, you know? Still got some other areas that like I want to spend some more time in and see if we can't figure something out, but we're going to keep on trucking, got to gas up the boat and get back to camp, get some things re-rigged, so we'll see you back there. This is the fun part, double filling up. Money on money just to chase some green fish. Exchanging green for another green. And we are at camp. This is home base. Got Clayton's truck, he's staying in his just like me. We got Josh and Bree Douglas just on the other side of this house. And they make our life easier with feeding us and stuff like that, getting us ready for not dying of starvation on the water. But we got back, we got off a little earlier than we actually intended today. Uh, things didn't really go as planned as we thought they were today. So we're actually gonna be Kind of regrouping, get a few things rigged. We got all our rods out and everything. We just gotta kind of revamp, regroup, hit tomorrow hard, try to kind of switch things up. You know, if something's not working, you gotta keep changing. And I don't know, we're gonna keep trucking at it because I don't know, you do well, you do bad, whatever, it's gonna be on to the next. And we're gonna try to do well. We gotta figure something out. Something's not working and we're not doing something right. So. Let's keep going. Well, it is day three of official practice. It's only a half day today, so we have to be off the water by noon. We're getting off the water here shortly, and I don't know, it's kind of it. It's all she wrote. To be dead honest, this has been probably one of the worst practices I've ever had. Uh, I tend to actually like the Harris Chain quite a bit, and this time it doesn't seem to like me back. So we're gonna, you know, I gotta stop by, you know, go get gas, stop by the service yard just to double check something quick and, uh, you know, 
just cross my T's, dot my I's, kind of get ready for for Derby Day tomorrow. I get to go back to camp then, rig up, kind of relax. I got a shower. It's probably been like three days since I've showered. And um, yeah, you know, just make sure everything's ready, clean the boat up a little bit, get everything organized, get the rods dialed, everything rigged right. And um, I don't know, it's everything we got. I have one area, literally one area, and it's not close. So I'm kind of throwing all my eggs in one basket and gonna kind of go for it. I think no matter what else I found, it was gonna be hard for me to ignore that area. And now it's just turning into if I'm gonna ride or die by it, at least for day one. If it goes well, I'm gonna feel good. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to go back to square one because I don't think I wanna run that far again. Um, so we'll keep you posted. We'll catch you back at camp, kind of rigging up, doing all that good stuff. Well, back at camp, as you can see. And uh, these three, I got one area, three rods, two outcomes, good or bad. And we're gonna ride or die by it day one. Um, I got an area I think I can locate some fish in. It might be different from when I found them last, but I don't know, it's kind of all I've got. I don't have as much confidence doing anything else, so it's kind of just one of those things. Long run, gonna make it happen, and uh, at least try to and see how it goes. So we gotta go register still, we're all rigged up. Pretty simple rigging, getting the boat cleaned up, organized, and yeah. Clayton just went and got some tackle. He just got back, so uh, yeah, we're gonna gonna chill out now for a little bit. I gotta go shower, and then we're gonna go register and finish up a few things, eat some dinner, and get a good night's rest. So we'll catch you a little later, show you some registration stuff and all that kind of good stuff. We are registered. Got a sticker, a couple coffees, because Clayton just goes a wall on caffeine, I guess. So I got his, but uh. I don't know. Time to go back to camp, finish up some rigging, and then dinner time, early to bed, and we're getting after it. So I think I'm probably just gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna see you guys on the water in the morning, and it's gonna be, it's go time, it's game day, derby day, let's do it.